The honor roll for those who gave their lives for their country continues to grow every day. It is important that everyone on that list is recognized and appreciated. There was a tribute from the sky and there was a serenade. America, America. Family members of those who gave all were escorted up the war memorial steps to plant reefs. A solemn gesture for the fallen. 89-year-old Navy veteran Charles Greer made it home from World War II and was rewarded today with a front row seat and a carnation for his service. He wasn't recognized at the time um, because it was um, segregated. So I think today is an important day for him. It is important at the highest ranks of the military. Listen to General Robert Abrams. Remember those who have given their lives to provide the blanket of freedom that allows us to live free. Never forget their sacrifice. Pray for the families left behind. And always remember that though it is absolutely worth fighting for, freedom is not free. The caisson was led by members from all branches of the military, and a flag-draped casket was pulled by a horse-drawn carriage. It is more than pomp because veterans understand the circumstances. As a parent, I can say I would give my life for my kids. As a veteran, I committed to giving my life to this country. And the people who gave their lives kept their commitment, complete commitment. Complete commitment.